Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this does not work without you guys. Oh my goodness, what a day, man. Um, I'm glad I was here today working on the set. We got some new things that worked out really cool. Having the crawler uh, there, you know, with, with the information going across there, it, it felt like we were ESPN-like, just without the stupid narratives. Um, having the picture-in-picture -picture cam with E2 Blue was cool. And doing two live streams with all the news on the Cowboys was a lot of fun. We got so much that's going on. It, it's kind of crazy when you think of how much talent and how many things have been seeming like they're falling in place for the Cowboys. Make no mistake about it, this year is just crazy. You know, I um, love having E Blue working with me on the, the show. It, it adds, it takes a little pressure off and it adds somebody to bounce ideas and stuff off of. Um, and E2's good people. E2 is just going through a lot of stuff right now in life and is trying to find his way. So he gets a little bit emotional, but you know, we all get emotional, especially in times like this. I can't help but think, and, and you may think I'm crazy and maybe I am, We'll see how the season works out. There's no guarantee that anything's gonna work out for our Cowboys, but you know, it's kind of a crazy year. But it feels like so many different things have been going right for the Cowboys for the most part. I touched on this a little bit with E2 sitting here. You know, Dak Prescott could have said, you know what Cowboys, screw you, we didn't get this deal done. I'm gonna hold out, but yet he didn't. Instead of him being a distraction, he did the exact opposite. He built a field at his house. Built a field at his house. And worked out with all the offense. You understand that? That's a rarity. Russell Wilson, when it came to his contract, after he'd been paid by them, after he'd won a Super Bowl with them, said to them... If you do not get my contract done by April 15th, I will never sign another contract with you. Put a gun to their head and they got it done that night. You didn't get that with a Dak Prescott. Tristan Hill, we're hearing, has turned himself around. Stephen Jones, this is one of those things that you weren't expecting much. Stephen Jones says that Tristan Hill will be one of our starters. Tristan Hill. Tristan Hill who had issues with his college coaches. Tristan Hill who seemed like he just couldn't get it right last year. Tristan Hill has been busting his ass and may become a starter on this team according to Stephen Jones. So as you start thinking about where the Cowboys are right now with this defense, I know we got some injuries in the secondary. We still have questions at safety, but that pass rush, that front seven is going to be beasting. I know Sean Lee is going on injured reserve, but you got some real playmakers. Your defense literally did a complete 180 from where they were last year. And Brandon Carr, comes in for a visit and see this is one of those players that people oh Carr he's a bum I ah, screw you Brandon Carr can teach a lot of these young guys a lot Brandon Carr is not a bad player he's only 31 years old Brandon Carr if you can bring him in for the right price I'd bring him in you can't have enough cornerbacks and he can still play what's evident of of that was when you think about our defense, since 2015, we've had two defensive players that have had more that have had three interceptions a season: Jeff Heath and Sean Lee. None of our cornerbacks. 
Yeah, Brandon Carr immediately goes to Baltimore and gets two interceptions. I think that's as many as he had in his whole time here in Dallas. So you have to question is, was it Brandon Carr can't play or was it the system that he was playing in? I'm more apt to say maybe it was the system that they're in because I'm sitting here looking at the cushions that we would always give. You think about the guys always talking about, you know, we basically showed what defense we're in. And if you are at a competitive disadvantage, I don't care who you are. If they know where you're going to be, they know how to fight against you. And again, that's another one of those things that you look at. So Tristan Hill, who some people thought might be a bust, he's turned it around where he may be a starter. You look at getting back a guy with experience like a Brandon Carr, maybe at a reasonable deal. You look at the possibility to be able to sign an Earl Thomas, although I'm worried about him being a cancer. You look at being able to bring in a guy like Everson Griffin. You end up getting a guy dirt cheap like Alden Smith, who looks like he may be the real deal again. You've got C.D. Lamb falling to you in the draft, which not only helps your team, it actually screws the Philadelphia Eagles. As Jalen Rhaegar is out with a labrum injury, you don't think that they wish that they had that guy, that that guy wouldn't help make that team a whole lot better and help Carson Wentz out? But instead, we get him. It just seems like so many pieces are falling in the right places to help put this team together. So I'm ecstatic, I am thrilled. I'm cautiously optimistic that we will have a good season. Just so much going on today, it it just feels like a whirlwind. And it seems like I've been on YouTube all damn day. Yeah. Well, tomorrow I got to hit the road. I got a lot of work to do. I got a duplex. I need to paint the whole interior tomorrow. Well, tomorrow and Sunday. So I won't be around and probably, oh, I won't even have shoots. Probably won't even have the internet where I'm at. So I may be out of touch. So I might need you guys to keep me informed of what's going on. And it'll take forever to upload stuff. But hey, got to do what you got to do, man. You know, as they always tell me, don't quit your day job, and I haven't. But let me say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, each and every one of you guys, for helping me to do what I do. I can't do it without you guys, and fortunately, I haven't had to, and I appreciate you. That being said, it's 1130. I need to get up about 5.30. So I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. And I'll see you on the road. If you're going out for Labor Day weekend, please, please, please mask up and keep your social distance. It seems like since people, more and more people are masking up and social distancing, seems like some of the numbers are beginning to go down and that's the direction we want to keep it going in until we can get rid of this thing I don't know about you I'm tired of having to do this but I understand why we have to see you in the morning